God, he makes me work hard for his love. What? What are you doing that for? You're supposed to be excited about Tug. Hello? Come and get it. Feed a boy. Oh my God. <laughs> the laziest Tugger of all time. Get it. Get up, you lazy bones. Hey, it's Annika here with Sniff Dog. Are you worried that playing tug with your dog is actually contributing to behavior problems? Are you unsure about whether it's an appropriate game to play? I'm here today to myth bust that tug is a bad game to play with your dog and teach you how to play it appropriately. At Sniff Dog, we're here to teach you how to speak dog. If you can have a better understanding of your dog, you can have a relationship built off trust and fun. We wanna come on this wonderful journey of pet ownership with you to help empower the love and connection between you and your pet. The general idea that is a myth that playing tug with your dog encourages aggression or dominance is exactly that, it's just a story. Playing tug with your dog is a great game to play for a number of reasons, but primarily for relationship building with your dog. If you play tug appropriately and with the proper rules, it can be a wonderful game to teach your dog that you are in fact their leader, and it's a great way to tire out some of that excess energy, especially when they're teenagers like Cedar. Are you tired? From that game? Are you tired, boy? Oh, he's tired. Real quick before we get to today's tug tips, I want to give a quick shout out to our featured fan, Raven the FMD. Thank you so much for your continued support. Thank you for loving Raven. It's very clear through your Instagram. Make sure that all of you give them a like and some love on Instagram. If you want to be a featured pet on our videos, make sure that you like, comment, and share our content on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Most importantly, don't forget to download our training tip sheet. We made it for you with all of today's content in one compact PDF file. Lastly, stay till the end, we've got bloopers. What you'll need for today's video is a tug toy and some treats. Today's three training tips are, tip number one, teach your dog get it so that tug is only played when you've invited it on cue. Tip number two is to teach your dog to drop it so that you are in control of when the game ends. And tip number three is to play tug with today's suggested rules. Whether your dog is bananas for tug and loves it, loves it, loves it, or is just warming up to the idea, it's a brilliant game to play with your dog in partnership. It requires a lot of give and take and respecting each other's boundaries. And it's super, super fun for both you and your dog to play. So don't be shy about playing tug with your dog in the first place. The part about tug that most people don't understand is that it is one of the best ways to train your dog self-control. It's also a great way for you to learn to be in control of your dog. I'm just gonna remind you that tug should be fun. It's also really tiring. So if you're lazy and you're short on time and your dog loves to tug, it's a great, great game to play to tire them out in a hurry while working both on mental stimulation and physical exercise. Tug in no way encourages or enhances aggression in dogs or dominance. It's just a fun game to play with them. It can also be used if you have a dog that has low food drive as a reward to reward behavior throughout the day that they offer that you like. Let's get started on tip number one. You are going to train your dog to get it so that they only play tug with your invitation. You start the game of tug, not them. In order to train get it, you are simply going to bring your dog's favorite tug toy in front of their face, say the word get it, and then give the toy straight to their mouth. Okay, get it! Ha! Good boy! Try to get them engaging with it by moving that toy all about as seen here with me and Cedar. Once they latch on and they really get tugging onto it, tug back over and over and over. You can make all kinds of fun noises or gestures to try to get them encouraged to play the game with you. Once they're latched on for 15 to 30 seconds, you're gonna use your drop it cue, which will you'll learn in step two. Good, get it, get it. Good boy. Arr, arr, arr. Now at any point that you are actively tugging with them, if they get growly or jumpy, that's no big deal. They're just getting excited and play. It does not mean that you have a problem at hand. 
If they are getting growly, it might mean that you've been playing tug a little bit too long or they're a bit too jazzed with the game. So it might be a good time for you to take a quick break by using your drop it cue. One of the most important things during tug is that you play on intervals. So you wanna encourage the get it and then have them tug the toy for 15 to 30 seconds, drop it. Take a break in between and then play get it and drop it again. Let's move to tip number two. If you haven't put it together yet, you're in charge of tug. You invite them to both start the game by saying get it and end the game by saying drop it. It's all on your terms and your time. To teach drop it, you are going to be playing tug actively with your dog. Once they get really engaged and are actually holding on to that toy or even a little growly for it, you're gonna say drop it. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Drop it. Yes, good job. Good boy. And then offer a food exchange straight to their nose. You're gonna hold it here straight to the nose as you see with cedar and wait for them to drop the tug toy. If they do not drop the tug toy, you need to up the ante on the exchange you're offering them because what they're saying to you is, I like the tug toy more than I like that treat. And so I'm gonna actually hold on to the tug toy here. If they do drop the tug toy, you're gonna say yes and then offer them that treat that you had stuck to their nose as a little bit of bribery. By doing really short intervals of get it and then drop it, you're showing them that you're in control of when the game both starts and stops, which also helps them learn how to practice self-control and listen to your cues. A quick mistake people make is that they practice drop it without the treat exchange. Remember, tug is reinforcing for your dog. They freaking love this game. So for you to expect them to drop it initially when they're first learning the skill without that food exchange straight to their nose, that's really unfair. So make sure you're sticking to using the food for the first 20 times or so that you practice this game. Eventually you'll get rid of that food reward and the reward will be playing tug again after they've dropped the toy. One more common error is that you're saying drop it over and over and over while pulling on the toy. You're literally asking them to let go of the thing at the same time that you're reinforcing them for holding it. So make sure if you're having a hard time getting them to drop it, the toy just goes limp in your hand and you're not tugging while requesting that they release it from their mouth. All right, that brings us to tip number three. You must play this game with rules. I've alluded to a few of them already, but we'll get a bit cleaner with giving you a list of what the rules are. Tug is super exciting for most dogs, so play it in short intervals, not longer than 30 seconds at a time without taking a break. They are not allowed to take that tug toy from your hand unless they have heard that get it cue. If they don't hear the get it cue and they try to snag it from your hands, you take that toy away and maybe you walk away for a few seconds before trying again. It's actually a really good way to get bite inhibition from your dog, which means them learning how to differentiate between bite pressure and what they are biting. If they bite your hand in the game of tug, drop the toy and walk away. The game completely ends. Lastly, try to stick to the same toy for tug. It can be a bit confusing for your dog. They might begin to think that every toy in your hands is fair game for tug. Start with one toy and then once they have the self-control, you can diversify to multiple different toys or sticks, etc. Have fun. Thank you for watching today's video. I like to believe that your dogs will be way happier for me sharing this information for you. Tug is a super fun game to play with your dogs. Do not be shy in playing it with them. If you like what you see here, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Press the notify button so you find out when our next video comes out every week. If you're watching us from Facebook, make sure you like, share, and tell your friends. And follow us on Instagram. We give you so much extra content on there that's not included in these YouTube videos. Don't forget to download the training tip sheet I made for you and enjoy the bloopers. P.S. Please, oh please, oh please, send me videos of you having fun with your dogs. You can tag us on Instagram or send us the video on Facebook. Have fun. Every time I press record, he starts drinking water super loud. Hey, Cedar Boy. Get it. Good. Get it. Good boy. Come on, get it.
laziest tugger of all time. Get up, you lazy bones. God, he makes me work hard for his love. <laughs> <laughs>